Hi guys, uh, this video will talk about the user forms and uh, I'm just going to actually give this solution uh, to uh, to you this problem which I heard from uh, one of my subscribers and uh, he said that he actually has this uh, huge huge list uh, in his you know a form I mean uh, like suppose let me just click on this you can see that uh, it's actually number of characters are quite you know they are uh, large in numbers and we can't actually find them we can't see it you know human and resource and research and development so uh, is there any way actually that we can uh, you know uh, check these entries one by one so if I click on this then I can actually come to know what exactly it is you know because this is hiding uh, because of its length you know uh, so that's a user form uh, anyways for um, uh, people who are watching this and they don't have any idea what exactly it is it is a one of the uh, VBA techniques which we use and this is uh, we use actually to interact with the you know uh, to uh, I mean it generally when we why we use these user forms we use the user forms because they look very nice very neat and clean and uh, they actually uh, helps in understanding you know how this macros are actually going to work because generally what happens when you give these user forms to distribute this user form in your team or maybe when you uh, send this to somebody you know and uh, they they have to just exit or submit all the buttons uh, I haven't created any button over here but I'm just telling you that they can uh, simply select these items and you know they can submit the button and the code will run so they, they don't have to actually understand the code right so it's a very nice way of uh, building the applications uh, it's you know it's more of like um, you when you go to the uh, banking any website and you log in there you register your username and the password and you know then you can do the transaction so everything is there for you in the form of that you know the form which you actually have to fill so you don't have to learn any coding for that right you just simply go there and you have to simply write your username and press the password and when you submit the button you know then automatically behind the uh, you know this uh, entire scene uh, whatever happens that you just need not to worry about that right because it's a uh, programming which they have written there so similarly in Excel uh, you can also build uh, the same kind of applications but of course with the different technology and that is called the VBA in websites generally people use some uh, uh, you know maybe uh, they use uh, like PHP they uh, use ASP.NET ASP.NET by the way is another a very uh, good technology uh, you know uh, built by Microsoft so anyways that's for the website but you can also create the same forms in the uh, Excel as well <coughs> through VBA of course so um, I have created this uh, list box and uh, the problem with this list box is that it can't be actually uh, you know uh, it is not uh, fully viewable right you can't see it even the school bar cannot work here so I have just uh, you know thought of this and uh, I came up with the solution and I, I hope uh, a person who just s you know uh, sent out me this email uh, he must be I mean this would work for him and I'm sure this would work for everybody who is watching this so what we can do is uh, uh, let me just go to the background and uh, thus that's where I have actually recorded this user form uh, and I can increase the width width of this as well you know like this and I can click here and I can get all the informations but the problem is that um, this person who uh, sent out me this email he said that for some reasons he really can't you know he, he he can't actually increase the width of the user form you know and because there are other things as well which he's displaying here and uh, he doesn't really want to increase the for for size of the form so he's just looking for the alternate what else can be done you know from the presentation perspective so that's fine uh, we uh, I have not actually increased its weight so what I've done is uh, I have created a label text here right this is how you can create this label text and uh, what you need to do is actually let me just show you what I actually have done uh, see uh, go to the this view option and uh, choose this toolbox since it is not appeared here so that means it is only activated on my this so that's where I can see it right so what I've done is I pick this uh, label you can even pick this text box doesn't matter that's your choice so I have picked this label like this and I have dragged it here right and this is what actually it is now 
let me just delete this so it has no name because of the fact that um, if I select this and press F4 I'll come to this property and in caption I have not written anything I've deleted it if I'm going to write my name here you can see that my name would appear here Ajay right so I'm gonna delete this because I just want to keep it you know the blank and uh, I have given the name is uh, LBL name right that's the name of this for this control now guys what I've done is uh, I actually go to the uh, Visual Basic code and uh, on this I added this four line of code right and this is on the double click even so whenever this list box is going to be double clicked whenever any item is going to be double clicked what will happen is uh, so we have the indexes you know if I click on this this is uh, zero index this is one index this is uh, two index and this is three index so when when you create items in the list box then they actually have the indexes so I've just made the use of those indexes and how this uh, list box is appearing the question might be uh, popping up in your mind that from where we are getting this list so it's quite simple actually what I've done is I have simply uh, if I go to the view code and I check that uh, when this form is going to be initi initialized then with this list box these items are going to be added right as you can see here so I have written here maybe I can write it something operations operations and production right and here you can write his uh, maybe you can write something uh, let's say quality right and so on so this form gets initialized whenever this workbook uh, workbook is going uh, going to be opened and uh, so you can write this open in the this workbook as well over here you can write this that the form is going to be initialized you can call this function and uh, with the help of this calling function this form actually is going to be init initialized right uh, but so far what what I have done is uh, so whenever I click this this form will get in in initialized right and I'll get all these items as you can see here now operations and you know the rest of the uh, characters I can't see so that's the challenge for, for us and we uh, uh, which we are actually go going to work on it and uh, so I have uh, this portion is something which uh, is not a focus of this video the focus of the video is actually about this so what I'm doing is uh, I'm saying that for a for any list box item on double click you know this is a auto event which I have generated from this drop down as I selected this double click and this double click is generated for me and I've written here that if my list box selected zero is going to be true which means that if I'm going to select the very first item which is this operation production then my label name dot caption should be list box dot list dot zero so what I, it will do is that whatever the value I'll select here you know the moment I'm going to click double click you can see that uh, this will be visible here operations and production right now I can see anything and in the border here because I have just actually you know deleted it so this is a more of a label you can even uh, you know um, take it further uh, you can uh, place this just above this user form I have just placed it below this so that's fine right so th the moment I click the double click I I will get all these headers over here and anyone who is selecting this he can actually check you know that whether this is what he is looking for and in case if it is then you can create the buttons here and you can submit it or whatever the action you want to do it right so this is how I created it so oh, what what is happening is on every double click event uh, if my list box selected zero item equals to true so it means uh, that's my if I just uh, but just click here this is the list box zero this is the list box one item this is the list box second item this is the one going to be the third item so whichever selection I will you know whichever list item I select it is going to be true and if it is going to be true then that's what actually my code is you know going to check that whichever item is going to be true so this will actually give me uh, the label name you know the label name which I have uh, as you can see here this is my label name right this is you can see here that's called the label name so I will I'm saying that the caption is the property of this label name and I'm saying that the caption has to be your this name right whatever the name I'm I'm to say I'm going to actually select there so I can put a pause here I can um, just um, let me just use this break this and now let me just click this now the moment I'm going to click single click it is not nothing is happening but the moment I'm going to click double click see this activated this event will be fired automatically because I have double click this now see what will happen is well, we have selected the which option uh, let me just uh, put this little 
move this from here yeah so we have selected this operation which is going to be the selected zero this element right so obviously it means when this code is going to run this actually thing is going to be true so I should get here in the then so as you can see here now this then is going to be executed and the moment let me just move this little more now this will be executed and the moment it is it has executed I can see here my operation production and this all will will be now not executed because these are the items which I have not selected so you can see that it is not going to this then option it is simply going to the next option and this is how it can actually work right let me just show you once again let me just reset this let me click here and let's say this time we'll select this double click so the moment you do this double click now this if list selected item zero element you know the, the zero index is not selected right we know that it's it is zero is operation so th this time we selected the third one so it should actually skip this label dot caption as it did right so this again this is not false uh, this is again false so it's not true so the moment I come here now you will see that I'll immediately go to this label dot caption and I'll get the, my research and development and this is how actually you can get this thing you know work out for you right so that's it for now and uh, that's my email ID let me know in case if you're looking for some uh, training on the VBA and um, or maybe on the Excel I actually provide online classes and uh, I train people especially from the perspective that you know uh, if they are looking for hardcore MIS training if they are a business analyst and they deal a lot of lot of uh, in Excel and the VBA programming you know a lot of automation how to interact with the Excel uh, with the PowerPoint how to interact Excel application with the uh, maybe with the Outlook how to send the auto emails watch my videos there as well and uh, uh, let me also uh, tell you one more thing that um, once you click on my videos uh, you can actually go to my name over there and you can click on my name and then you'll see my the front page and there you'll see the option called the playlist so under this playlist I have somewhere around uh, you know 15 16 videos on the VBA somewhere around uh, I guess 40 or 45 videos on the Excel and then I have some videos on the arrays and then I have videos on the pivots and charts and so according to your requirement you can actually watch every video and I bet that you know you will definitely end up learning something watch any video so far I think uh, I have uploaded around uh, 60 videos and you can take the benefit out of it right alright guys so I'll see you with some another video interesting video and uh, don't forget to subscribe thank you so much bye bye